My name is Brian Lane and my wife Melissa Lane has stage 4 cancer and this is a story of how I met my wife and we're in this together and I'm down here at the Ultimate Women's Conference because they've donated some some nice jewelry, some nice, nice ladies here are trying to help us out and I really appreciate that. The way I met my wife was uh, about 26 years ago a woman that I'd previously dated had called me, her name was Sarah. And Sarah called me and asked me uh, if I was seeing anybody. And I told her I was, but I, I didn't really know why Sarah wanted to know these things. Well, then she wanted to know if it was serious. Is it, was it, is it really serious? And I told her, you know, I'm not engaged if that's what you're asking. And she said, good, I have the perfect person for you. And I thought, what would Sarah know? How would she know what's perfect for me? Turns out she did. Two months and 28 days later, I married my wife and we had a great life together. We still are having a good life together. And then when she was 42, she noticed a lump in her breast. And so she, she changed her diet. She did all these things to make it her, she knew how, to, she, it was very serious. She, she lost weight, which she didn't need to do. She looked great before. And then at 44, we went on vacation and she looked incredible. She looked like she was 20 years old. But then she started having some memories of the sexual abuse, child abuse. And then that, where that came in was, it ended up, uh, she was losing weight at a very, very rapid rate because it, it just her body was eating itself alive. And she would wake up at night sweating and bleeding and all these things. And so, they, you know, they talk about mother's intuition. Well. I had husband's intuition. I kept feeling like it was, uh, it was worse than what she thought it was. And she started limping. And, but she had three therapists that were telling her, they were, they were private practitioners, telling her that everything's okay. It's not the cancer. This is emotional trauma. And so that just fed into Melissa's belief process that it was going to, that this is what's wrong. Well, long story short, she ended up in the hospital one day because she was having trouble breathing. And the imaging, like I said, the husband's intuition was right. It was much more than, than emotional. The cancer, even though the lump was, was basically gone and everything looked good on the outside, the cancer had been spreading through the inside where you couldn't see it. And so that's where we ended up it, down here today at this conference to try to get donations for my wife's health care. If you would like to help, if you're in a position to help, you know, I know some of you couldn't be here at the conference, so please click on the link below. You can donate anything. It can be $5, $10. We're not going to go out and, and spend this money on partying. This is going strictly for her health care, and we really appreciate anything that you could do for us. Thank you.